What is up guys? Thank you for joining me on this video. So this video is going to be a little different than some of our other ones. And I'm going to take you really behind the scenes of building the Mosaic Madness collection. So we started Mosaic Madness last year and we built 32 new mosaic designs and we put them in a bracket just like the real March Madness and have our Instagram and Facebook followers vote on their favorites to continue through the bracket. It's such a fun way for us to make some new designs and um, for everyone to vote on what they like. So I'm going to take you behind the scenes of building that collection. So here we go. So for these 32 mosaics, I really had to batch them out in about seven or eight at a time just to get them done in the four weeks I had allotted to get 32 projects done. One, doing them in batches helped save space. I didn't have space to have 32 unfinished projects, but also it let me cut all the designs of that batch at one time, paint all of them at one time, and then go in and attach them so they would be ready to frame, and then I can move on to the next batch. So that is how I planned out this collection from a production standpoint. I often get asked the question if I design or draw up these designs beforehand and for this collection the answer is yes. For me that's not always the case. Sometimes I like to go in without an idea and just see what comes out. But for this collection because I knew I needed 32 designs which is a pretty large amount. I decided to draw as many as I could on my iPad and just have the photos on my phone so I could see the pieces. Most of these I didn't even add color to the drawings. I just had the pieces and made them fit as close to my original design as possible. Some people can't design without a pre-drawing. I like doing both, but definitely for this because I was on a time crunch, I wanted to make sure I had as many ideas drawn out as possible. This collection was also super fun for me last year during Mosaic Madness. I would say Jake actually drew up probably 25 of the designs and I did the rest. So he had a majority of the designs that were out last year. And this year was basically all me. There were one or two designs that Jake drew up from last Mosaic Madness that we never got to use that I then put into this Mosaic Madness because we really liked the design. We just didn't get to make it at that point. And I actually had a few like this one that was from last year as well. So it was nice to look back at what we had drawn and see how our style has changed from last year. I show any kind of building of mosaics I feel like we get a lot of questions on what we're using what are the materials and honestly it changes almost with every single piece this piece for example is um, a mix of some plaster lath from a 1900s farmhouse some oak that was palette grade that we had cut down some other like off cuts so it really is a mix of like old and new wood which i love i love the texture you get from the old wood and the plaster lath it's just something that you really can't imitate other than like having actual old wood so i love that a lot of our mosaics feature this and they, they're all different so it truly is a such a unique piece and I love that I get to keep these as an original art piece for my clients so these are designs that I won't make again and it will always stand alone as one of a kind. The 
great thing about creating 32 new unique pieces in March especially is getting ready for show season. If you have been following me for a little while, you know starting in either normally April or May starts my show season craft shows, art shows, which will be actually the next video on our channel is the start of our show season, which I cannot wait for, but it just fills out my booth with such unique products and it's stuff that people haven't seen before in person. So it's a great way to continue to market after Mosaic Madness. guys so in the middle of mosaic madness so currently have 24 of the 26 mosaics attached we're gonna cut them down well Jake's gonna cut them down on the table saw today while I am touching up we're running into like the last couple days before voting starts so yeah I'm gonna show you guys kind of what we have they're all sitting in like the paint room right now which is where I'm at um, so still have a few to finish, but I need to get some framed and finished for voting to start on Monday. So let's look at what we got done so far. All right, so they're kind of all scattered, um, but you can see I already did cut some of them down. All different shapes so that's a circle an arch and then we have a couple stacked up here but this is where they're all living until we can get them cut down I kind of run out of space this one I think is really cool we have like a gradient wood something different so yesterday we did end up going to Shenandoah Planning Mill for the first time, which I'm so excited to finally start diving into some more hardwoods. Um, I've been intermixing some red and white oak into these mosaics and it's just game changing, I feel like. So leveling up, getting better wood. Um, so I'm so excited about that, but I got a bunch of um, basically like walnut, they're not off cuts, but they're skinnier cuts. Um, so they're not as long, which is fine for us making mosaics. And then I did get about 10 to 12 boards of um, larger white oak as well. So we have some white oak and red oak up in our carport like wood storage, but um, it is pallet grade. So I'm interested to see um, the difference between what we already have and the stuff from the planing mill. So yeah, we're going to dive into finishing the last of the mosaics and uh, getting them ready for photographs. 
All right, so all of the pieces for Mosaic Madness are built and voting is ready to start. So I need to go and grab all the pictures of the mosaic. So basically, this is probably one of the best built out content sequences that we run um, because we have videos, we have the photos, we have the bracket. So there's a lot of different elements to this launch. I'm trying to figure out how to do that for some of my other launches. So if you guys have any cool, fun, creative ideas of how you wanna see our products, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, we're gonna grab all the pictures of the mosaics and I'll show you guys some close-ups to wrap up this video. So even though I'm getting this video out about a month after the Mosaic Madness launch, I am so thrilled with how successful this launch was. We only have about 10 pieces of the original 32 left, but you can check out the link in the description to shop the rest of them. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.